it's probably the first day where we're wearing the same. We are so close to finishing our dream home on wheels. A little under four months ago, we took on the challenge of renovating an old school bus with no build experience. We've come such a long way from never using power tools How does lock in? to creating something like this. In this vlog, we'll be adding all the finishing touches from lighting, curtains, and even sunscreens. We're so excited to get on the road, start our lap of Australia, and bring you along for the ride. So next up, I am going to attempt at creating a little cubby hole for our shoes. So when we get in and out of the bus, we can just shove items in and out very quickly and it gives us more floor space because I'm then going to build the floor out over the top. We're going to make it out of aluminium. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I'm thinking maybe a couple hours, but we'll see. Wait. That fits like a glove. It's hard work because the sun's out. Right on my back. Don't worry, I have got sunscreen on. Alright, so it's pretty much made. We have an area to now store our shoes within the footwell. This is the test of my full weight, which is about 70 to 75 kilos. Oh, pure muscle. And it works perfect. Oops. Seriously, I need to get a new gorilla pod. Pod, gorilla arm. Oh, it's a nightmare to use. All right, third time the charm. Last but not least. In the meantime, we have Alex on sunscreen duty. Yes, she is making this completely from scratch. We bought the material from eBay. How are you going with it? Yeah, not bad. The only thing is, this is definitely the hardest one just because the front windscreen is so big. It's really hard to gauge it because it's not just one and two measurements, it's different measurements at different points because it kind of goes wider in the middle so we definitely need a bit of help from James to just see if it fits, which it probably isn't going to. <laughs> Final bedroom curtain done. Yay! Yay! We have curtains. It's hard to see in this light it at the is. moment because it's quite dark in here, but it's like a stone colour. These are just from Spotlight as well. How good are they? They just needed a tiny bit of altering. And now for the finale touches on the bed, we have pillow number one. Yay! Pillow number two. Yay! <laughs> looks so nice. Look how well these palm trees match. <laughs> we bought this like three months ago knowing nothing about what we were going to get in terms of linen and it works perfect. Looks good. We are finally going to install the aluminium profiles and the LED lights that are going to be acting as our lights 
in our bus. So if you didn't know, I've got about 10 years experience in architectural lighting. I left that behind when Alex and I decided to quit our jobs and just travel full time and make this basically our life. My knowledge of lighting is pretty good. So we sourced some LED strip lighting from eBay. Now you might think eBay and question it, but if you know what you're looking for, you can get good quality stuff. With LED strips, it's important to remember you get a very small pitch. Now the pitch means the distance between each and every LED diode. When you put a diffuser on it, like this, if you put that on the underside of an aluminum extrusion and put the LED tape inside, you will just have a clean line of light ready for installation. I'm so glad you know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. So when we're sat here on our laptops with our table up, then that will be shining exactly where we need it to be. Looks really good. So you can see here, it actually gives you a scissor mark. But if you cut it anywhere between other than these copper things, then that whole row will go out. Boom! Look at that! This is looking pretty sexy. We have two of our LEDs working now. So it's another day and we are gearing up to move the rest of our stuff in and one thing that we definitely want to make sure are safe are our dear hats. So we've been trying to think of a way that we can actually store the hats without them getting creased or crumpled. And what we have come up with is using this elasticated band. So they're gonna run across like parallel to each other, like two braces, and the hats will actually hang upside down safely in between. So it will kind of run across the two brims like so, except it will actually run that way. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we go. This is the final result. So happy with it. So we can just fit three in. As you can see, we've got one that we've got here and the other one's just the other side. So it looks kind of like two braces that run all the way down. I think they're gonna look. Oh, so they're gonna look so good. So good. So I love it already. It's taken way longer than expected. It has, hasn't it? You like it, Indy? <laughs> I think that's a yeah. I am going to make myself useful and start potting our little herb garden. So, from Bunnings, we picked up some mint, we picked up some coriander, which I'm hoping we'll be able to keep alive, 
and some lavender because James absolutely is obsessed with the smell of lavender at the moment. So I'm going to repot this into here and add some soil and again I'll do the same with the mint and the lavender. So yeah, we'll have our little hair garden and hopefully it continues to grow. Well, that does look smart. I'm very impressed. I believe we have correctly configured our blind. And if you click your fingers, Alex, it should work. <laughs> what the hell is this? Stop. Oh! <laughs> it looks so good. It looks so good. All right, go back up, please. Oh yeah, that is sexy! And that, my friends, is how you make a motorised projector to watch movies at night. It's as easy as that. Well, guys, it's moving in day. It seems weird that we are finally at this stage that we can say to you that we are moving in. It's actually probably one of the trickiest parts of the build <laughs> because now it's trying to figure out what goes where. We feel it's gonna take a bit of a process whilst being on the road to try and figure out where everything goes. So for now, we're gonna do our best, but it is tricky because what we've packed, we're like, oh, maybe we can't take that. And what we haven't packed, we're like, oh, maybe we should take that. So Alex is doing the lovely, nice finishing touches to our bed area, which we are so happy with. So let's go take a closer look. Ta-da! Oh. So that nice. is a big cushion. <laughs> Where's it going to live? Is it a front? cushion or a pillow? Well, I think it's one of those European cushions. So if we get bored of these cushions, which won't happen. The European cushion? That's what they're called. They're called a European pillow. Anyway, apparently Europeans like to have big pillows. <laughs> Oh, what'd you hit your head on? Oh, the overhead. Oh, Ready? Got it on the vlog as well. LED <laughs> <laughs> strips come, they come in a ball, and James will be able to tell you more about what A ball? <laughs> they come in a roll. <laughs> a roll. <laughs> so it's another day, and we're gearing up to move in with the rest of our. Start again, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. I thought you were taking a picture. 